Hi boys and girls, welcome back. Today we're gonna to continue our study and we're gonna talk more about, about Paul. Well, Paul was in a beautiful city by the name of Athens. Many learned and well-educated men lived in this Greek city. But Paul was very distressed and saddened because everywhere he looked in this beautiful city with all these beautiful buildings and architecture, he saw these idols, idols made of wood and metal and stone. They were everywhere. Many had names, and there was this one big altar, and it had these words written on it, to the unknown God. So these people even worshipped a God they didn't even know. Well, Paul had often spoke in the Jewish synagogues, in this city about the Messiah, Jesus. When he walked through the streets of Athens, he answered people's questions about Jesus. He was always happy to talk to people about God's Son. Well, some people listened and believed, and others lis listened and they weren't very interested. Kind of like today. But some philosophers and educated men were always ready to hear new ideas. We want to learn more about this strange God from another land, they said to Paul. So these men invited Paul to Mars Hill to speak about Jesus, the Christ. This was a place where all the important speakers went to speak, and they discussed things and argued over philosophy and current affairs. It was a real privilege for Paul to be able to speak here at Mars Hill. So I'm going to turn you to the board so you can see what Paul's talking to these people. Men of Athens, Paul began, I know you are very religious. I saw all of your altars. One of your altars had the inscription to the unknown God. How can you worship someone you don't even know? Well, Paul questioned them. Let me tell you about this unknown God. He made the world and everything in it. He is the Lord of the heaven and the earth. He doesn't live in a temple made by men. He gives life and breath to every living thing. He created the people of every nation. He is not far from any of you and wants you all to seek him. You shouldn't think of God as an idol made of gold or silver or chipped from some type of stone. He wants you to put away your idols and to worship him. Only him. Repent of your sins. One day Jesus will come back to earth and judge all men. Jesus not only died for your sins, he was resurrected from the dead. Resurrected from the dead? What was Paul saying? When they heard Paul speak of a person being resurrected from the dead, some just laughed and left. Well, that's not possible. And these people just left. They didn't know that all things, boys and girls, all things are possible with God. We know that, don't we? Yes. Well, when Paul left, a few of the people followed him. Miss Pam's going to get her new board out here for you to see. So he went further out in the city and he, he talked to the ones that were interested. 
So let's see who we have here on our board. I'll turn you back to the board now, okay? Well, they didn't know that all the thing, all things were possible with God. But there were some who said, we want to hear more about this strange God. So Paul left and these joined him and believed. Paul was glad when even a few came to know Jesus as their Savior. One who came to know Jesus, his name was Dionysius, Dionysius, a member of the city council and an important man in Athens. Very important. Now maybe he would tell others about Jesus. Also a woman named Damaris believed in Jesus and became a Christian. Why wouldn't more people believe Boys and girls, what do you think? Because they didn't want to change. They liked things the way they were. Maybe they liked to do bad things. Maybe they liked having a God that was made out of stone. Because that God probably couldn't talk. Or couldn't tell them what was wrong. How sorry they would be someday. Paul's speech was received with mixed reactions. Some laughed, but some believed. Even if, it, if only a few believe, it's more than worth the effort to tell others about the true one living God. So see, boys and girls, even Paul and all of his followers, Jesus' followers, his disciples, a lot of time people chose not to believe. They would rather worship the idols that they had. Yep, it was too much for them to turn away from their idols. Maybe they were raised in a culture that that's what their God was. There's a lot of other religions in the world, but their God, their gods aren't real, boys and girls. Our God is the true living God. He was the He's the only God that resurrected out of the grave and is alive today and sits at the Father God's right hand. Jesus is the only God that resurrected from the dead. That's why these men were so amazed. First of all, their gods weren't real. They were inanimate. They were made out of stone or wood or metal. So that something being resurrected to them was like very strange. So that's just, well, see how Paul showed people? He told people about Jesus. And even though it was a few people, he planted seeds. And then those people would learn about Jesus and they would go out and tell people about Jesus. And that's how, that's how the kingdom works, boys and girls. Sometimes people may walk away from us and say, we're not interested. But you know what? You might have said one thing about Jesus that did. It just kind of like planted a seed in their heart and their mind. And someone else may come along and tell them something else about Jesus. And they might think, I need to know more about this Jesus. So that's part of what our job is, boys and girls, here on earth, is just to plant seeds. We may not see it grow into a full plant. We may just plant that seed. You know how when you plant a seed, it takes weeks sometimes. You have to water it, the plant, the seed, in order for you to see that little sprout to come up. Well, that's sometimes how it is when you tell people about Jesus. Sometimes the first time they might laugh at you and say you're crazy or walk away or say I'm not interested. But you just keep telling them about Jesus. One day they're going to find out that Jesus is so, so real. And hopefully it will be because of something you said to them. 
So just remember and remember this story, boys and girls, about Paul. Even though it was just a few believers, one person can make a difference. One person can change the world. That's what Jesus did. He changed the whole world. By dying on that cross, he gave all of us the opportunity to be sons and daughters of the Most High God. So just remember that, boys and girls. You go out and plant seeds, just like Paul did. You tell people about Jesus. Okay, let's have a word of prayer, and we will let you go, okay? Father, we thank you again for another beautiful day you've given us and all your many blessings. Thank you for this story about Paul, Lord. Thank you that he never gave up. Lord, he was whipped, he was beaten, he was put in prison, he was told never to speak the name of Jesus again, but it didn't stop him. Help us to be like that, Father. No matter what, we will continue to speak your name, Jesus. And Father, just uh, be with us as we talk to our friends, our family, those that we may just come in contact with. Help us to plant those seeds of faith. Just let us tell them little things about Jesus and how special you are. Lord, that may be the one thing they need to hear that day. So, Father, help us to be believers just like Paul. Help us to encourage other believers as well, just like Paul. So, Father, we just want to thank you once again for this lesson, for all the lessons, and most of all for Jesus that he came and died on that cross for us so that we could be included into your family if we choose to do so. So, Father, just help us to go out today, remember this story, and tell others about Jesus. Show the world Jesus. Help us to do that, Lord. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, you go out and have a great day. I love you, but God loves you so, so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.